Frozen Story for Children. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named Frozen Story for Children. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. Princess Anna of Arendelle and Princess Elsa of Arendelle were sisters and best friends. Anna was one of the few people aware of Elsa's ability to produce snow and ice. Anna! Wake up! Wake up! Annoying! Elsa, go away, Anna. Anna, do you want to build a snowman? Elsa, yes, jumps out of bed. Elsa fills the ballroom with snow for the sisters to play together. During the game, Elsa loses control and unintentionally hits Anna with a blow of ice power, and Anna suffers severe wounds. King, Elsa, what have you done? The situation is out of control? Little Elsa, it was an accident. I'm sorry, Anna. Looks down at Anna in her arm. The king and the queen embrace Anna. Queen, she's very cold. King, I know where to go. They take Elsa to the magical troll. The elderly mountain trolls agree to help her parents. A grandpappy suggested that Anna might be saved because she had been struck in the head rather than the heart. As the years went by, Anna forgot about the mishap. Their parents walled up the castle to conceal Elsa's magical powers from the outside world and never let the public inside. Elsa could not control her powers and would feel helpless about it in the wake of strong emotion. As she didn't want to hurt her sister, Elsa decided to quit playing with Anna. As a result, Anna experiences agonizing loneliness. The girls lose their parents to a turbulent sea, and now they have only each other to look up to. Many years later, the time to do Elsa's coronation has come. For the special day, the castle is unlocked for locals and Elsa makes a valiant effort to keep her feelings and magic hidden. At the celebration, Anna meets the charming Prince Hans of Southern Isles. They appeared to have nothing in common, but still, they decided to get married. However, Elsa is opposed to this and believes their marriage wasn't a good idea. Elsa, marriage, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Anna, yes. Well, I haven't worked out the details, but we could live here happily. Elsa. Wait, no, no, no. Anna, may I talk to you alone? Anna is angry and starts to argue. Elsa panics and is unable to control her emotions and fear, leading to ice mayhem. Elsa's magic is a shock for everyone, as everyone in Arendelle now knows about Elsa's secret. She panics and escapes away to the mountains. Despite being summer, Elsa's powers cause a deadly winter storm and endanger Arendelle. Anna takes off after Elsa, putting Hans in power over the entire kingdom. As she rushes into the violent storm, Anna's horse shoves her into the snow and bolts back to Arendelle. Fortunately, she runs into Kristoff and his reindeer, Sven. Together, they go ahead to find Elsa. As they make their way up the snow mountain, Anna and Kristoff come upon a breathtaking snow paradise. They discover Olaf, a magical snowman. Olaf wants to help them bring Summer back, and he knows where Elsa is. Olaf takes Anna and Kristoff to a magnificent ice palace that Elsa had constructed with her powers. Meeting Elsa, Anna tells Elsa about the terrible storm in Adrendel. Elsa, Anna, you need to go. Anna, but I just got here. Elsa, you belong in Arendelle. 
I am no good for you all. Goodbye, Anna. Anna urges Elsa to come back home, but Elsa is too terrified of hurting more people. As the sisters argue, an ice wave of power emerges from Elsa's body and strikes Anna. Elsa uses her abilities to make a huge snowman to frighten away Anna and her pals from the palace. Anna is now worried as her hair starts turning white, even though they manage to escape the snowman. Kristoff takes Anna to the trolls and is forewarned that Anna will remain frozen until Elsa's enchantment is overpowered by something strong, like a genuine act of love that can thaw a frozen heart. Grandpapa Troll, I'm sorry, Kristoff. If it was her head, that would be easy, but only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. Anna, an act of true love. Troll, a true love kiss, perhaps. Anna knew she loved Hans with all her heart and made her way to him. Hans and his troops attack Elsa at the ice palace and detain her in the dungeon. When Anna arrives in Arendelle, she begs Hans to save her with a true love kiss, but he declines as he had pretended to love her. He wanted to get rid of Anna and Elsa to take over Arendelle. Hans leaves a shivering Anna behind where Olaf finds her and helps her warm up, but Anna grows weaker and weaker. Elsa is devastated and is sorry for not being able to keep her sister safe. She hugs Anna and genuinely feels sorry for her state. Elsa's tears and her true act of love towards her sister melt away the frozen heart, and Anna comes back to life. Elsa, Anna as she comes to life. Anna, oh, Elsa. Elsa, you sacrificed yourself for me. Anna, I love you. Olaf, an act of true love will thaw the frozen heart. Elsa, love will thaw. Love. Of course. Anna, I knew you could. The kingdom is saved because of genuine sibling affection. The two sisters are again great friends, and summer is restored at Arendelle. Olaf gets his snow cloud from Elsa to keep him from melting. Kristoff and Sven become the official ice bearers of Arendelle, and the castle gates are wide open to the public. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teepkit channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.